Welcome back. Now, Black Friday sales in America may resemble a scene from an apocalyptic movie, but here in Ireland, we're a much more civilised nation altogether. But each year, Black Friday sales here at home seem to get bigger and bigger. Here with advice on navigating your way around the shops next Friday is Suzanne Kane. Good morning, lovely Good morning. lady. Hi, how are you? Good of you to join us. Tell us about Black Friday. When is it? So Black Friday happens next this Friday, the 24th, and then Cyber Monday happens after it. Now, Cyber Monday is going to be much more popular, especially in Ireland and the UK. I suppose Black Friday is very traditional. It's very American. And then people go, why are we doing this? because we like our bargains. Okay. So if you want to get involved in it, absolutely. There's shops right the way across Ireland that will have Black Friday deals. So, but you need to plan, right? Mm. You need to take this very seriously. I don't like to brag. I know you have a lot of experts on the show. <laughs> I don't fall under that umbrella, but when it comes to shopping online, I genuinely am a master in the dark arts of all things online. I'm good <laughs> at shopping online. I actually got a jacket arrived one day. I totally forgot I ordered it at half three in the morning on a night feed. Now that is Half three in a night feed, yeah. that's good. Excellent. That is Right. Good, my friend. So I want to take you through some, some top tips for doing it. First things first, <clears throat> do your research. This really applies to if you're going to use the Cyber Monday as well, if you're going to shop online. But if you're going out to one of maybe the tech stores, you want to buy a television, for instance, know what you want. Mm. Don't get caught up in the hype. We all get a bit but excited. Suzanne, I would be a little bit sort of cynical <laughs> about the whole thing because I feel, especially I suppose during the you know the depths of the recession over the mm. years, that there were sales on all the time. It mm. was always 20%, always 30%. So why would I go out into the crowds of people, the throngs of people, and you know, go through that experience when if you'd actually just amble into the store on Saturday or Sunday, it's still the the same discount? Yeah, so th well, there's not because okay. on Friday there will be bigger discounts and they will only be for Friday. They will. Okay. Now, in turn, there will be discounts on Monday as well. So if you don't want to go to the stores on Friday, yeah, if you don't want to go to the stores, well, then Cyber Monday is for you. But be smart about it. Yeah. Like, if you do want to buy a television, research your television. Find out what you want and what you need. So don't go online and go, oh, that looks like a great saving. Well, then it's not really for, for you. But for clothes as well, it's great to go into the store, try it on, because you exactly. may not like it, you may not so fit, So that's what I'm whatever. saying. So do your research. Okay. Go and find out what you want. If you have an eye on a coat that maybe is from a designer, maybe it'll be part of a black sale or it'll be part of a department store, do that. So look, know what you want and write down all of your costs. Okay. So what they cost pre-sale and what, when they go online, they'll cost after as well. Sign up for email alerts. So do that today. So if you want to go and shop on one of the shops online, make sure that you're part of the email alerts today. Set up a separate email account. No one likes spam. So they'll all just go to this. But then at least then you'll know what's coming down the track. Because already the likes of Amazon have already started to send out Black Friday deals. Oh, that's clever. Have a separate email account. Yes, yeah, so I have a separate. I hate getting nonsense in. But if I'm looking for something, I have a separate email account. That, you know, in the store, they go, we'll give you an extra 10% if you give us your email address. Most certainly have it. I never open it. So have it. Yeah. But yeah. have a separate <clears throat> one and just use it just for that. Um, so there's, if you can VIP, like in Amazon give you VIP, loads of different outlets give you VIP options, do that as well. You get them, especially this week. They're really trying to lure you in and get you marketing. But look, you can unsubscribe after that because that's where you're going to make your money's worth and that's yeah. what we're after. What's the favourite thing that you like shopping for? Would it be tech stuff? Would it be sports stuff? Would it be... Yeah, tech clothes? stuff. Yeah, I remember being invited once to, I'd signed up for one of those VIP exclusive email yeah. thingies, you know, and I got an invite to the house then to this electrical store saying that we're having a very special VIP event. Yeah. And I thought, this is fantastic. I go up now and I went up and there must have been 80,000 people in the shop yeah. and I, the it's queues to buy kettles were a mile long so I thought no, I'm going home. I will say that, just be aware of the hype, do you know, do be aware of it and do be aware that, you know, if someone is trying to clear off stock or they're doing whatever, you know, Black Friday will work and Cyber Monday will work for you if you're looking for an item. That's where you'll yeah. get your money's worth. If you want to buy clothes, if you want to buy a winter coat, you want to do those, you'll get, you know, if but you're your just... Christmas shopping would... You there you know. go. Now, bear in mind as well, you know, things like if you were looking to do a big shop maybe for bits and pieces maybe if you're buying toys for the family or you know you have cousins and nieces and nephew that need toys always have a look at the big retailers okay. like Argos, Smiths, they will all do run-ups. A lot of them have already started their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. So if you're doing all those bits and shop, you know, to pick up the Christmas presents yeah. for the family, have <clears> a look. <throat> Lots online. Do you have an interesting point about getting the extra discount code? And this yes. is what always makes me weep when I'm shopping online because oh, it comes yeah. to checking out and it says enter promotional code. No. And I don't, usually don't, don't have, have a promotional no. code, no. but someone has a promotional code. Yeah. yeah. So And also, don't be afraid. So social media, make sure you're following all the shops that you want to shop on on social media and then write them. The codes are going up this week. Go online and even just put into Google 
any promo codes for whatever the store is. And sometimes you'll see a coupon code that will be applicable to Ireland. Also look out for free postage and packaging. So that's very important. We're going to talk about that in a minute as well, your packaging and your posting. So look for that. A lot of companies will give you 20% off and they'll say free postage. So get that as well. So look, as soon as you go on, you'll see a banner running across the top of the online stores. Write them down. Have your cards beside you. Have multiple tabs open because it could be really busy if you're trying to buy. Then let's talk about the postage and packaging. Yeah. So if you're shopping here in an Irish that they deliver within Ireland, that's fine. Look at how much it's going to cost you as well to get it shipped here um, and then how much it's going to cost. Because you could buy something, it could be a good find, but then it could cost you 20 quid to get it here. You know, sure. so it doesn't so work it all out. Adds up, yeah. Then you have the option of like parcel, motel, address pal. Have you heard of these? Mm. Yeah. So if you're shopping from the US, Address Pal is a great option for that. Bear in mind, it still goes through customs. Just to say that to people, because people forget about the customs side of things. It will still go through customs, but if they don't shop to, the, to Ireland, you can still get them using Address Pal. You sign up, you get a card, it gives you an address, it goes to there, and then they reroute it to your house using Address Pal. Parcel Motel do pretty much the same as well. I used it last week. I bought a Peppa Pig advent calendar in Asda. They don't ship to Ireland. Went to Parcel Motel. It's a revelation. You go in, you type a little number in your petrol station and pop opens and you take your parcel out and it closes back over. They're like and little lockers. Go. Yeah. yeah. Genius, yeah, yeah, so but take into account as well, if you're shopping from the US or you're shopping from the UK, if you're buying something, again, you get a massive discount. Look at how much the package and postage costs because you might have to pay that for the store Plus, you have to pay your parcel motel as well. So just, you know, just keep an eye on the figures of what you're spending. Yeah, because you're losing the savings that exactly, you made. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what okay. about checking for the terms and conditions? Let's say oh, you get something, something and yeah, it's and then delivered. It returns. And you don't like yeah, it. you don't like it. So then a lot of stores now, you'll notice like with River Island or Dunn's, all of them, you can go back in store. But bear in mind, if you shop on PayPal, some of them won't accept it back into the shop. If you buy it through your card, you can bring it back to the shop. So look up all these terms and conditions this week before you buy, Suzanne, basically. final tips yeah. for those brave souls <clears throat> hitting the shops on Friday. Should they get there early? Yeah, Just target absolutely. the stores? But know what you want. Write it down. Go in with what you want. Don't get distracted by the shiny things. If you're going in for... I'm, don't <clears throat> get distracted, but it happens to me all the time. And then I have to explain about why I've spent so much money. Go in for what you want. Go in early. Know what you want and get in and get out. That's it. Literally do that and then have your list for your online on Monday. still people go to these things to brave. House. Like, is that what made up most of the yeah, 80s? Like browsers. What are they doing there? They've nothing else to do with their day. You have to fill it up somewhere. Like, don't get don't into something. Don't for a walk in the park. Don't, don't stand in my way in the shop. They like the atmosphere. To, to be well, honest with you, the, the, the way that, that we shop as Irish retailers it's is a little carnage. bit... It is car That won't happen. That's America. They're yeah, losing their seen lives. That, that, that. That's like, that's Target or one of the, or Walmart or one of those massive big shops. But that, look... Now, to this be honest, we're scary. Can I just point out, this is scaring people. This will not happen to your local. This shouldn't happen. See, I say that now. Yeah, and I'll be on now. the news on Friday yeah. going, actually, I made a huge mistake. Black guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, with a telly under my arm, I'm going, I got it. Is that when you brave it on Friday? Uh, no, I'm online shopping on Monday. I have a list. I'm ready to go. Okay, don't, don't get me out in bed. Just something small. Just a little worry. Tally. Just a little a something. Token. Thanks a million, no Suzanne. Always lovely to have you in. Still to come, chocolate mousse and homemade honeycomb in the oh. kitchen. Plus, we'll have a preview of tonight's launch, the next series of Wipers. Celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs>